So I did some of these earlier. Here they are. And they turned out pretty cool. There were still little bubbles, but this was a learning thing. So now I'm going to try this again and see if we can't perfect. See if I can't perfect this. So what I did learn is you add a little bit to each one, give it a good foundation. So we have the first pour set. Put in a little bit more to each one. Okay. Now we're going to take our fabrics, place them face down. about that my other camera died all right then I have this tool which is kind of like a silicone putty knife in a way and then here's where it gets messy I'll run this push it like that just work it around This is forcing the silicone up and through the fabric, the weave of the fabric, pushing out the air bubbles, and getting it suction cupped down there. I'm just going to keep working it, forcing those air bubbles out. Alright, so what I'm looking for is bumps and white spots. Like there's a white spot right there that's showing an air bubble. It's kind of gushy right here, so that's showing excess resin. So again, just keep working yourself around, getting it smooth, making sure there's no bubbles, and making sure that your fabric is even in your circle. You do have a limited amount of time so make sure you know how long you can work with your resin. This one is a 40 minute working time. But going through the vacuum chamber to degas it, which does help, for, especially with this, I don't have you know full 40 minutes anymore obviously. there we have it. Now I'm pour the rest of the resin on top. Alright, I'll hit this with the heat gun and it will sit for 24 hours. And I'll be back. Alright, so these are set nice and hard. Let's get them out of here and see how we did, shall we?
There it is. They look pretty good. There's a side view. And you can see the bottoms are pretty rough. So get this sanded down, get the cork on the back, and we'll see how they look at the end.